Hi guys, to welcome to Food Satisfaction. Today we're making tabbouleh. So um, we don't have a lot of ingredients, but here they are. We have parsley, finely chopped, because that's the way my husband likes it. Then we have um, onions, chopped again, diced. Tomatoes that are diced. We have here bulgur wheat. This is and, very and, important. In Arabic, burghur. Burghur, exactly, sorry. Bulgur wheat, the way you would say it if you're asking a store clerk to show it to you. Um, so essentially we have different kinds of burghul. We would have ones that are finer, like these. This one, this is a number one. And then you have a little bit more coarse. This is a number two. And then you would have also number three, etc. But for this recipe, we're using a number one. You need it to be fine because the parsley is delicate and you don't want something that's overwhelming it. You could use this, it'll, be, it'll taste a little bit diff different to the tooth. And of course, the parsley, the one that I use is a curly one because it's easier to chop for me. So the rest is easy. The bulgur wheat, we would just soak it in water, warm water. I put a little bit of salt. So here I have a cup and a half of bulgur wheat and then I covered it with water. I let it sit there. You'll see it'll soak it up pretty quickly and it becomes nice and soft. And then what you'll do is you'll just take it and then squeeze the water out. Okay, so maybe I could just interrupt. Uh, what are the things that I don't like when you go to uh, Lebanese restaurants where they serve tabbouleh is that the ratio of uh, this is in Arabic called badunis and this is burhur. The ratio is off, so there's a lot more of this than of that. Uh, but that ratio should be a lot more weighed more heavily, at least, towards the burhur. Okay, so. We'll go ahead and just dump in all the parsley, as fine as I could chop it. So that's that. Then we will add any which way, it doesn't matter. I'll put the tomatoes. I just like, I do it visually, the onions. I can kind of guess the proportions. I leave the burgul for last because I can see if I've maybe soaked too much. Sometimes, you know, the parsley and bottle pr proportions are not right. So I basically used one and, uh, sorry, two and a half heads of parsley. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And then after, once I mix the dressing in, if I find that there isn't enough burghul, I will add the rest. I just don't wanna do it from now on because I can't take any off. I'll put some salt, three fingers again. And then here I have my um, Aleppo pepper and black pepper that I just, you know, mixed together. That's about, you know, you could see it was just in the palm of my hand. Some people put mint, since I have a lot of fresh mint in the garden, I decided to put that. So for the dressing, don't need to buy tabbouleh dressing at the store. I saw it at the store the other day, I said, who buys tabbouleh dressing? It's just olive oil and lemon juice. A quarter cup of each, equal amounts for this portion. So it's very, very easy. Just mix it up and just dump it in. And you'll taste, if it's too um, not lemony enough, you'll add some more. And if it's too lemony, well, you'll add some more burghul. So now I'm just going to take my spoon and mix it up. And then we'll ask uh, the professor here if it has enough burghul in it for his liking. And what happens when you let the tabbouleh sit with the dressing, you have to let it sit, I guess, maybe an hour. And the burghul will soak up all the dressing and it'll taste a lot better. So is that good? That looks great. I look forward to eating it in about 30 to 60 minutes. Cheers. Hey guys, I just took an outdoor shower after some training and now I'm about to sink my teeth into a classic Lebanese tabbouleh. So here we go. Get ready. I'm just the guinea pig who faces the repeated culinary indignities of having to eat this cooking. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You wish you were me? I like that.